month five. Nothing's changed. Still. Broken loot, no iconic Marvel locations, still two villains on repeat, minimal communication from the developers, and no campaign replay or endgame. Have you ever seen someone respond, <laughs> that's just PC, to these numbers? It's funny how dismissive they are, because some of the people saying stuff like this are playing on Stadia. Remember Stadia? Oddly enough, they aren't as dismissive about Spider-Man's exclusivity, but I hope they remember that energy if anybody's left to still care when Crystal Dynamics fulfills their contractual obligation to release Spider-Man. Did you know? In the five months since this game's launch, there has been precisely one war table. In it, crossplay is one of the few features mentioned, and since studio head Scott Amos previously stated that he believed players would come back when there was content, we can plainly see that a player base as non-existent as the endgame in Marvel's Avengers was a big enough deal that the historically quiet developers were forced to actually acknowledge it. But according to the defenders, All life service games launch bad. <laughs> you should be more patient. That doesn't happen to me, so it doesn't exist. It's just a game. I love this one because it's like, you know, is this game free of criticism for you? That's just the PC player base. So, in the interest of showing and not telling, for the duration of this video, I will be playing a video of my attempt at matchmaking on PlayStation 4. Found a grand total of zero players. Open NAT. Uh, I actually switch characters in case they're Hulk, Thor, or Iron Man mains that are trying to find matches. As you'll see, no players are found. But let's be real. As we all know, the game performs very poorly with multiple players in a match. The compromised, laggy performance, bugs affecting enemy spawns, and the high chance that a session will drop a player from the party is what the developers have admit are big enough problems to further halt new content and force fixes. Five months in, still fixing. It's almost like it's broken? And been as broken as we've all said that it is? Because why would you need to fix something that's, that's not broken? Huh. So, I guess defenders saying how it never happened to them or that it wasn't a big deal are incorrect? Since the developers have admit that these big bugs need big fixes, Yet people unironically post and stuff like, Trying to implement New Game Plus was a huge waste of time and resource, as ones who even want it will most likely play it twice or thrice more at best. Then that's it. No one is farming the campaign for loot. It's a short excerpt. But you realize immediately that people like Jon Snow have demonstrated not only a WandaVision tier delusion, but also an incredible inability to see things from perspectives outside of their own. In the interest of education, for any like-minded defenders capable of at the very least seeing reason, New Game Plus is different from the simple ability to replay the campaign. New Game Plus typically entails modifiers, differences in difficulty, etc. For reference, Spider-Man PS4 launched with the ability to replay the game, which is what we're asking for, and New Game Plus came a month later. Okay? Marvel's Avengers has been out for five months and doesn't have either. It is absolutely a priority. Intelligent critique of this game shows that it lacks variety. Personally, I can't stand this game's uninspired story and annoying Kamala cringe, but you know what I do love from the campaign? Iron Man's flight mission. This mission is fun, and it should have been available to replay whenever anyone wanted to in the game they fucking bought. Since launch, the MODOK fight is interesting, at the very least, allowing you to switch from hero to hero, giving you that classic, authentic Marvel Ultimate Alliance feel. Battling on the deck of the Helicarrier, having your heroes in the outfits that you chose for them posted the fuck up, this is what will sell skins. More scenes like this with the heroes fucking walking down a hallway, shit like this, yeah, yeah, this is gonna incentivize people to buy when you actually put good skins in your marketplace. But why does this kind of shit even need to be said? If the devs were smart, if the devs cared about the people playing, 
would they at the very least have considered making campaign replayable in the first five months of this motherfucker's launch? It's this absolutely bizarre and confusing emote, but no emote wheel so you can only use one emote at a time energy that shows you that this game's direction is what holds it back. A direction chosen by people confused, people insane. Almost as insane as the shills who treat this like some sort of competition, boy. Where Kyle simply telling it like it is is content because some of these people are in denial that they were beta testers. Denying it so hard that you consider all criticism toxic? Listen, the Helicarrier, an actual iconic Marvel location in the game. Is it an arena that you can battle in? Not after that one time. Is it a proper social hub that multiple strangers can end up loading into like the Avengers Tower and Marvel Heroes? No. It's an absolutely unnecessary stop between you and the in-game war table. Can you imagine if in Destiny you loaded straight to the tower and then you had to go up to fucking orbit? It's just stupid. It's, it's out of touch. It's dated. Y'all know Destiny came out six years ago? Seven years ago. Excuse me. <laughs> but you can go to the Ant Hill to look at middle-aged NPC Ant-Man. You can go to a shield base and, I don't know, stand there? <laughs> What's the point? This is a live service made by people who don't know what a live service is. And mark my words, if they screw up the next-gen push hard enough, we might finally get some answers as to how and why this failed in such a monumental way. The real Helicarrier, one of the only iconic Marvel locations in the entire game, is neatly locked away in a game you bought. How easily they could turn this into an arena for a harm room, an environment, since it's a holographic fucking room, my dude. Y'all have a red X-Men comic? Y'all know anything about the Danger Room? Jesus Christ. Kamala Khan can transform into Iron Man and we gotta listen to her go, I'm Iron Man! I'm Iron Man! But we can't all play as the same character in the fucking harm room is really bizarre, right? No one's playing campaign for Lou as if anybody was arguing that point. What a Grandpa Simpson statement to make. Any player should be able to guess that campaign is bringing variety to this broke and monotonous fucking experience. And you'd know that if you weren't so out of touch. I would even go a step further and say that you have no idea what the future updates could potentially bring to this game. They may implement rewards for some of the single player missions to incentivize people to play it. The level cap is rising after all. The loot is being overhauled after all. Of course they're going to need to dangle some, some better than blues fucking bait. So the game doesn't just become what it should have been at launch, but takes sideways glances at the industry to see how they can bring something equal, if not better to the table this dude actually out here writing players who could have easily just backed up their saves and kept deleting and replaying the campaign kept harping for new game plus that's bait man come on this guy's got to be role playing at this point I'm, I'm not gonna touch comments like that you know admit it listener over time you've probably realized that the people you are dealing with might as well be in straight jackets and you've thought twice about even responding to any of these people. So I respect the bravery of some of the hazmat suitless heroes commenting. The comments of in this very post are filled with people saying, hey man, they'd love to be able to replay it. Should have been in from the start. The expectation that players are going to have to delete their saves to replay the campaign is of course ridiculous. But allow me to go further and say that this isn't a waste of time specifically because if people actually want this game to succeed, to come back from the grave, maybe it needs to outdo itself. It doesn't need to just have things that it should have had at launch. It needs to be better. And until then, it'll never be respected. It'll never be worthy of attention. It will never succeed if it can't offer what many players consider the bare minimum. Being able to replay your campaign? That's kind of the bare minimum right now. And I can't imagine the developers enjoy falling through the map on their own live streams any more than we do. We just need dates. We understand and we will give... Oh, I fell. Everyone saw that. It's okay, guys. <laughs> you, you what? I didn't see anything. Yeah, no, no, no one saw anything. Can you read that back to me, stenographer? Developer responds to question pertaining to content release dates. Developer falls through the map. 
I didn't see anything, another developer with upside down glasses on responds. It's like a sitcom. Except OG Avengers. Like Wanda, Vision, Pietro, Ant-Man, Waz. They just don't get to come play, huh? I see users on the subreddit say that they should hold polls and find out who people actually care about. But how can they tell you how much you love Kamala Khan if they offer you the opportunity to vote to the contrary? I'd vote for dupe. If I could vote for anybody, I'd vote for dupe over Kamala. And it ain't about who she is or where she's from. She's annoying. And there's like a thousand better superheroes. You know who Crystal Dynamics is? Motherfucker, you'd never leave in charge of a kid's birthday party. Where's Spider-Man? Where's Wolverine? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why does Tony Hawk look like this? Who's this old man? Oh, fucking Tony Hawk? Wait a minute. You know, playboy, billionaire, philanthropist, shredding. High tech skateboard. He's got a hollow, hollow board, hoverboard, hollow board. Well, something got to be holographic because the fucking harm room isn't. <laughs> How would you like to fight in this template, this unfinished room? A million times. Crystal Dynamics has made it abundantly clear that the upcoming deep dive is not a live stream, and it is entirely likely that there won't be live streams in the immediate future unless they disable the comments as a preemptive measure to do damage control. Why do I say that? Well, the reason is because of the honest, real, and live reactions from fans who didn't and would never have asked for an unpopular hero like Kate Bishop, especially when we were already getting Clint, whom they showed off first. Not just one archer, but two. And I guess they're toxic for throwing those L's in there because that's how they felt. God forbid they show it. The L's in the chat were the correct perplexed response from confused players or potential players. And after five months, we only have one of those two archers. Are you watching WandaVision like me? Are you loving the perspective of seeing people returning from the snap? Scarlet Witch, Vision, Monica Rambeau's Captain Marvel, or uh, Spectrum. The Easter eggs, the cameos, the questions. It's enough to ignite the flame that some of us thought burned out after Avengers Endgame. But now my precious mutants are about to take the center stage for stories that comic book fans would love to see on screen. Can I show you something? It's Elizabeth Olsen on an interview for Age of Ultron. Who would like to see Scarlet Witch do next? Or where would you like I to see mean, her go? I mean, my favorite is House of M, but that would never happen. Blake if she will. could have two fake babies and everyone tell her that they don't really exist Phantom. and then her just go nuts, that would be unbelievable, but I don't think they're gonna do that. <laughs> It might be a little too dark <laughs> for the Marvel Universe. When she loses her mind, it's my favorite thing in the comics. And now they're doing that. They're executing an adaptation of this very story. Jean Grey, Scarlet Witch, effortlessly some of the most overpowered heroes in all of Marvel. Fans are eating this shit up. Elizabeth Olsen, whether she was forced to ingest her character's stories by Marvel or not, didn't have to say, oh yeah, I'm really into comics. I really care about comics. That's what this game does, by the way. It tries to sell you on how much it cares about comics by repeating that they're really big Marvel fans. So big that they ignore 80 years of history. They're too stubborn to design based on the deafening feedback they receive and let half a year pass without fixing this mess. Meanwhile, everything is doing Marvel better. If Fortnite didn't already have a whole ass Marvel season, you'd already know they'd have Monica Rambeau skins rolling in towards the end of WandaVision, man. And look at her. Look at her. They're not scared of a cat suit, but Marvel's Avengers is. No joke, man. As much as I agree that ugly people deserve representation, many of us can be ugly and shoot arrows in real life every day. Can this game embrace the cat suits? You know, the one that men historically wear too? I bet you ya work out all your problems with this by the time Black Panther comes out. Because if you drop Black Panther and he looks like another riot shield padded, just dad cop like Captain America does, you're setting yourself up for some hot dunks. There are more people playing Bejeweled right now. There are more people playing Uno right now on PC anyway. 
So almost like this whole game is a social experiment. And the real data that's being collected is, you know, how long some of these people are gonna stay on their knees defending this. And for what? Marvel's Avengers has more people fighting reality than Scarlet Witch does in WandaVision. I'll stop, okay? The concept or property offered a slam dunk in the way of success if the people developing and producing it nailed the execution. Wouldn't even take too much effort on their part, the property itself is doing all the heavy lifting. And people already love it, just transfer that into this medium. But instead, Crystal Dynamics needed to make some modifications. Oh, y'all like Vision, Captain Marvel, Ant-Man, Wasp, you like a little bit of Quicksilver, you like a little bit of Scarlet Witch, fuck all of those guys. We talking about Kamala Khan, baby. <laughs> well, you, you guys want some more? Is that is that what I hear? How about Kate Bishop? Oh, uh, uh, my soul. My soul leaves body. Poor decisions, uninspired design, and flat out wrong direction. I honestly did not expect this game to stay broken as long as it is, but here we are five months later. I don't want to make any predictions. I want to say the same thing that I've been saying, which is what this next update requires. It's the same thing that I've said for over four months. Overhauled loot, actual replayable modes, stability and good performance in multiplayer, more than two villains on repeat, iconic Marvel locations and MCU or identical comic book skins. This next update needs two heroes. Hawkeye is not gonna do it. Especially when you think about the bugs that are going to come. You drop two heroes, people will be kind. Take it from me. I will be kind. Okay? But you roll out Hawkeye after making people wait all this time. And it's buggy as hell. Like you know it's going to be. You're running into problems, man. If your plan, Crystal Dynamics, is to celebrate six months with only two archers in your game, you might as well buy a prosthetic foot since you've clearly run out of feet to shoot yourself in at this point, I can't help you. Nobody can help you. I don't know what kind of, you know, there's this viral video of a, of a girl putting a bunch of super glue in her hair. I feel like y'all put super glue on your face after you applied clown makeup and now it just won't come off, will it? To the fans, I'm sorry. I wanted this game to be good too. I hope the industry doesn't give up. Thank God they didn't touch my fucking X-Men.